Hello everyone, welcome back on Minecraft Story Map. It is the last episode, yes, episode 8, Unshawn's Hand. Let's see. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See? <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. <laughs> What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this gonna do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that... that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you! Okay, guys. Not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. Got it? Yeah. We've got your back, Jesse. Ah, <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time, and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. What are you hiding from us now, Harper? Nothing. Nothing. Well, almost nothing. Just the others might not be 100% happy to see me. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Yikes, if you're the nicest old builder, these other ones must be really terrible. Hey, too mean. I'm trying to help here, all right? Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not going to let us down, right? I'm going to do my best, but I warn you now that there could be complications. What kind of complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? No, I think she's definitely hiding something. But if we're going to get home, we need her help. Agreed. Don't worry, okay? We're going to get that atlas and get home. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise you both, I am trying to help. You just gotta go through there. A door? Like a regular door. Time to step through and find out. Ah, very bright. Oh. to see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die. What? Oh. Yeah! 
of the year. Seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in the world did Harper dump us into? It's like some sort of crazy game. Really? You think this is a game? No, no, no. Jesse's right. It's belief. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be like this! could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, brah. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I And think... now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? Ah! Stop! I can tell you dudes are all angry, and I totally feel that, but I promise I do not make the rules here. That's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately! This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well, my friends are dead. You killed them! Wait, wait, wait. A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on, jeez. How petty are you? Ugh. Lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Oh, well, if that isn't the cutest little threat I've ever heard. <gasps> oh, I'd love to see you try that short stack. That won't be necessary. Your friends aren't dead. What? Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? Well, you and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. 
Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Jim, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable! We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight and to the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now! Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but... Admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? She must be joking, Hadrian. Joking! Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope. Not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are still in the game. How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled oh. with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. They don't deserve to be here, Hadrian. It's interesting. I think they could bring some excitement. Yes, well... I, I present the Eversource Crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? Sadly, not exactly valuable. They haven't been eliminated. Therefore, they could still be... Out! I w what about huh? this? I present... The Redstone Heart! Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It can be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. <coughs> Harper, huh? Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friend. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay, okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. It really does take a big person to admit when they've met their match. Right, Hadrian? Yeah, that's right, Slugger. I'll play these games. Bring it on. Well, I... Guess we have a deal, then. Gravel. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, event. enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Sort of hoped I had left all his negotiating behind me. You lied to me. To all of us. Hey, hey, I didn't lie. Per se. I just didn't tell the whole truth. Ugh! Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is.
We used to have competitors from all over. Travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games, but it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Nuh-uh, no way. They do not get to put my friends in their stupid minds. Yeah, we gotta bust them out of there. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines, quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Um, hello. Don't you hello, face meat. Oh. Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it, face meat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face meat's hungry. Do something about that. And face me, it'll think about getting your friends out. Okay, you don't for the. I get you for the. Um, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Your stupid teammate killed Lucas. Yeah, I couldn't believe Nell pulled that off either. Don't forget they respawned, duh. Don't cry about it. We were doing what we had to do to win. Until you screwed up everything. Next round! If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. No, you don't understand. I have to win. Winning is the only way my friends and I can go home. 
Is that how it works? That's what we're all trying to do. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Wooden planks. Solid. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were like amazing. I am now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Speaking of my friends, have you seen them lately? Nope, sorry. They're like probably in the mines, and that's on me. <laughs> Such bad karma. Bad karma. Ugh. I will never do that to one of your friends again because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like Tim status. Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Like one, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna, like, say stuff. Compare you to Tim. That's right. I'm gonna win the games, too. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, don't, like, tell anyone, but I would rather be on your team. Green team captain is, like, pfft, she is so not chill. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean, seriously. I mean, anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Well, actually, do you have any extra food? Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, uh, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Wait, I saw a few wood planks by the dojo. Right on. Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Wow, hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. Well, this might surprise you, but I'm better than Tim. Psh, no way. No one is like Tim, much less better than him. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's... Perfect! Okay, I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> there, that should be enough for a table. Aha! 
That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom. Bread. Now I should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello. Hey, face meat. Got some bread for ya. Bread, huh? Hm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Mm, fresh bread. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. Back with Palma, you picked Lucas, and so today in that stupid game, I worried. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and... I thought I should say something. I did what I had to do. Well, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're with me on this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh! Quick response! Uh, Jesse. Man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor! Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway... How's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary! Oh, sorry. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. As long as we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the Atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the Nether together. Forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible. And we weren't in there that long. Lucas, I'm sorry. We can't just leave. We made a deal. We have two more games to compete in. Well, hopefully we can get that over with quick. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. I can feel change in the air. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point. But you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. 
wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Hadrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleef, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <sighs> Wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? No idea. Definitely weird, though. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line? Huh. A race! We've totally got this! <laughs> got this, huh? Boom! Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian! And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their... Explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. Winning. Ooh, in the zone, huh? That's excellent. That's just excellent. Hope you manage to hang on to that optimism when the heat's on out there. <laughs> I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? Whatever you're throwing at us can't be any worse than the other stuff we've already survived. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah. And there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes. Perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. M might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or... You can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. I'm sure you'll be fine. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's going to involve a lot of punching and kicking and all around awesomeness. Give them all you got, Petra. I've been waiting all day for you to say that. Jesse? 
I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together. And I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. We can do this. Uh, yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors, on your mark. Get set. Ready. Go! That's what you think. Huh? Oh no. Out of the way, jumps. But where are the gladiators? My body! Wow. Well, that answers that question. for the fun part. I sure hope so. Come on, then. Glad she's with us, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh, yeah, Club? Because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> Boom. Fine, squishy. Jesse, got your back. Go. Go. Gotcha. No. Looks like you're all alone yeah, now. That's math. You're gonna pay for that one, Clutch. Oh, the water, little dude! 
Captain? I can ride that wave right back up to the top. Follow me. Enough for you. Thanks for saving me. Don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator, formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true. Then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Jesse looks very heated. You lied to me. You tricked me into trusting you. All this stuff you said about being friends was a lie. I know. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? <gasps> no, no! Please! <sighs> you probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. You really trusted Hadrian? That guy's like a creeper in a purple power suit. Hey, you try being stuck here as long as I have. Then you can talk. I'm out of here. Okay, respawning is the worst. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. Okay. If they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? Well, that was unexpected. No. Just Jesse. <sighs> Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec. I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I, I'm just a minor. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay. Good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I... Well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse! Come on! Now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Yeah, sorry about that. I just really wanted to hear what that guy had to say. Whatever. 